wanted to talk to you a little bit about Janu and, and, and how he's coming along. Uh, you know, he started off really hot. It was costing even your, your, your foundation some money scoring all those touchdowns, but it's kind of went taking a downswing. Uh, how is he coming along a, a, as a player and just, you know, getting back involved in that offense? Yeah, you know, Janu works really hard each week at what's required of him to help the team win. And, you know, I think I said a, a couple of weeks ago, whether that's catching a bunch of balls or, or blocking a bunch, he's excited to do uh, what helps us get the win. And that's what's most important. And some games, uh, it's going to be high production in the pass game. Some days it's going to be, you know, high production in the run game. And uh, he, he takes a lot of pride in doing all those facets well. Has it been kind of tough for you with, with the injuries? You, you know, when you consider John, or you, you consider Pruitt, and then you, you got to, you know, shuffle guys in and out, and then you got Swain coming in. How has that process been for you? You know, uh, when I was a, a young coach starting in this league, I had a, a mentor of mine tell me that you're evaluated as a coach on the whole of your room and not just, uh, you know, the top guys. And so, uh, I take a lot of pride in trying to have everybody in the room ready to play. And so it, it's been a, a fun challenge, um, you know, having all those uh, moving parts throughout the course of the year. I think it's a testament to those players. They all work extremely hard. They're all ready to go uh, at a moment's notice, and, and I would expect nothing less. If no one else says, I'll keep going. Um, some of your drills, you know, it's fun watching you guys doing individual period where do you get the drills that you do? Because uh, a lot of times they carry over into the game, you know, with, with blocking or, or even just catching through contact, all of that. You know, Coach Brable does such a great job of, of emphasizing fundamentals and technique. And, and he has a saying for us position coaches. He says, your drills uh, should replicate what they do in the game. And he doesn't want to see drills uh, that, that you wouldn't ask a player to do that movement in the game. And so it's just a matter of trying to, simulate uh you know with with uh, the limitations we have in in-season practice and some of those non-padded practices of just trying to find those movements and those techniques uh try to emphasize the fundamentals and get those guys ready to go thanks coach Todd appreciate you thank you all right coach I have some questions for you while we wait for some more people to hop over okay um, I know we kind of talked about John you a little bit already but can you just talk about the importance that he has to the tight end group um, and then to the offense as a whole? Yeah, John has done a, a great job from day one uh, this year of stepping up into that role and, and handling everything that we've thrown at him. You know, he's a, he's a consummate professional, works very hard, uh, not only at, at the mental aspect of the game, but taking care of his body physically. And, uh, you know, he's really done a nice job of bringing a good attitude uh, and being a good teammate you know, throughout the course of the year. And one on Jeff Swain. He, of course, scored his first touchdown as a tight end this weekend. Can you talk about the contributions that he makes that maybe don't show up on the stat sheet and then as well as the importance of needing to be ready for when the ball does come his way? Yeah, Jeff's a seasoned vet. He's seen a lot of football. And so whether it, uh, you know, be conversations that he and I have of, you know, ways that he's he's experienced or done things, uh, you know, or, or how he sees the game. He's a very valuable asset to have out there. Uh, he knows football well, uh, understands the big picture and what we're trying to accomplish. And so it's nice to have a guy like that uh, that can plug and play when ready. And as far as the run game, um, of course, Derek Henry has had a great season and last weekend had a big game. Um, and a lot of that is kind of due to what the tight ends do and making contributions and run blocking. What are some of the keys that um, you kind of preach the tight end group and hope to see it to have a continued success in the run game? Well, all the credit goes to the offensive line and, and to Derek. You know, those, those guys uh, work their tails off to be consistent. We just try to be an extension of that uh, and try to live up to the standard that they've set. And last one for me, how do you encourage your players to stay focused and stay ready um, in the past game, even if the ball isn't necessarily coming to them all the time? You know, that's a, a daily approach uh, that we try to take just to be consistent. It doesn't matter uh, what's asked of us. We want to give our best to it and we want to be ready uh, when called upon. And so 
uh, you know, the, the old saying is uh, stay ready, you know, so you don't have to get ready. And, and that's a, a mantra we try to take.